Hey guys, just before this video starts, just want to let you know that my sponsor has a fantastic incentive going on at the moment. If you know a haulier that's interested in getting drivers, click the link down below, refer them to my sponsor, and if they sign up, you will receive 100 pounds. 100 quid. <laughs> click the link down below, refer the haulier, get 100 quid if they sign up. That's brilliant. Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching, do appreciate it. Today, getting messages on my phone. Today, we are in the brand new Mercedes Actros, the mirrorless one. Uh, you, I don't know if you can quite see it on the dash cam where you are now, but uh, that's a mirror right there, if you can see it right in front of me. We've got no mirrors. That is not actually technically a mirror, that is a camera. Um, it's a, it's a screen that actually displays what should be behind me via a camera, which is up on the side panel. I'll show you it all later. I'll show you it all later. But yeah, brand new Mercedes Actros. Uh, it's a 69 plate. I want to say a massive, massive thank you to Rigel in Swindon uh, for allowing me to, to, to have this unit for the week. Um, they actually contacted me. I've just got my beacons on still. They actually contacted me and... Um, asked if I wanted to have it for the week. I never even approached them. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's really nice to know that like, companies like Mercedes are seeing my content and want me to, uh, to review their product, basically. Now, I have to apologize because, <coughs> as you can tell, I'm a little bit ill. Um, I've, been, I've been having a cough, basically, all weekend. Today's Tuesday, I should probably add as well. Uh, I drove this truck Monday, so yesterday. I wasn't going to do any filming yesterday because I just wanted to get used to the thing first. Um, and now I'm relatively used to it. Obviously, once you're in it for a whole day, you get used to it quite quick. But there are many, many features on this that I don't have in my MAN. And uh, I, I just know already that as soon as I give this back on Friday, <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hate it because I'm going to want it back again. <laughs> There's so many cool features on it. Uh, and I will, I will show you it all. One of the features is uh, P PPC, I think it's called, predictive power control, something like that. I'll, um, I will have it all correct by the end of the video. <laughs> but basically what it does is, uh, well, it's on, it's on now. And um, what it does is it reads the traffic ahead and slows down for you, basically. It's really, really good. I love it. Um, Okay, now it's on. It wasn't on, <laughs> now it's on. So it's reading the traffic in front and basically reacting to that traffic. Um, you won't be able to see what I can see on my dash. I will have footage of it eventually. But essentially, I've got my uh, cruise control set at 40 miles an hour. However, I'm doing 30 miles an hour because the vehicle in front is doing 30 miles an hour. So it's reading the traffic. It's reading the traffic. So we're up to 32, we're back down to 29 now. And we should, in theory, stay the same distance away from that vehicle at all times uh, until it stops. And it is going to stop in a minute, or at least slow down for this bend. So um, my foot is on the brake ready, but it should stop without me doing anything but steer. No accelerating, no braking. It should do it all for me. So cruise control is set at 40 miles an hour. Uh, the PPC is, anyway. Hang on. So we're slowing down now. He's recognised that there's a bend and a roundabout. He's saying that we should take this roundabout at 11 miles an hour. And I'm not pressing anything on my, on my foot pedals, I promise you. It's doing it all for me. Bear in mind, once again, cruise control is set at 40 miles an hour. So it should be doing 40 around that bend, but it's not because of the PPC. <coughs> anyway, now we're off of that roundabout and away from the bend. It's accelerating to 40 miles an hour. We need to go faster than that because we're on a, on a dual carriageway now. So we're going to uh, get it set at 53. This particular truck uh, will do 56. However, I've got it in economy mode, and, and in economy mode, it'll only do 53 with the cruise control or the PPC. But it's still reading traffic all the time. So I'm currently doing 52 at the moment. The vehicle in front is doing 60, and it's gaining on me. So I should be doing 53. Here we go. We're on 53 now. So yeah, it's really cool. I love it. <laughs> it's like. There are, there are like positives and negatives to it because as a driver you feel like you're not in control completely 
Uh, and personally, I like to be in control of it. But you also have the ability to stop, or you've got to have the ability to stop, because if you don't, then ultimately, as a driver, you are responsible. So, yeah, there's pos positives and negatives. Some people say, you know, it's just making the, the day easier. Drivers are going to get, um, what's the word they were using? Uh, I can't remember the word now. They're going to get reluctant to, to break or something, like fall asleep because they're not doing anything, stuff like that. But no, because <laughs> I don't fully trust it. <laughs> and that's not anything bad about Mercedes. That's just me as a driver wanting to be in control. So my foot, even all the way across there, my foot was on the pedal, ready. When I say on the pedal, I mean above the pedal, ready to press. But uh, yeah, right now, nothing is uh, in front of me, so it's not displaying anything. That car's moving over now. It's doing 71 miles an hour, that car, and the white one is doing 63 currently. And it's 100 feet away, and it's gaining 120, 130, 140. So yeah, very, very clever. Um, and apparently, if a car was to stop really, really hard in front, or just a standstill object in front, sorry, I was blocking the camera then, um, then it would, it would break and stop for you. But again, you don't rely on that. <laughs> but yeah, I love it. I absolutely love it. Anyway, we've done our first run for today. Uh, we're on our way to Mortimer now to get loaded to do another run. I don't know where it's going, but uh, we'll find out. We're going to put this Mercedes through its paces today. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Let's go. Right, so cruise control is set at 30 miles an hour. It's detected the vehicles in front are stopping and the truck's stopping all by itself. I promise you, I'm not touching the brake pedal. It's doing it all by itself. It's really weird. <laughs> I'm going to try and get a GoPro set up by my feet or something just to prove I'm not touching the feet no, the foot pedal um, but yeah it's also detected there's a roundabout up ahead um, but apparently they're not um, geolocated as in they're not on a system marked but it actually reads the signs and it's detecting that this is going to be a five miles an hour roundabout so we're going dead slow and I have to stop if there's anything going on, on the right hand side which there is so I I do have to stop and it's deactivated the, the PPC. I am just going to let them go. Let her go rather. Okay, I can go now because that van's going. So yeah, unfortunately, I had to um, disengage then the PPC. Um, but yeah, it is, it is really clever when you actually see it working. Anyway, we're going to put the speed back up to 30 miles an hour because that's the max speed for this road. There we go. And it also detects bends as well. So it's detecting that this is quite a sharp bend and I should take it at 13 miles an hour. So we're going around the bend. Actually, actually that was 22 we went around that. So it's a bit faster than 13 like it recommended. But um, yeah, it wasn't going full speed. Cruise control was set at 30 and it didn't do 30 around the bend, if that makes sense. So it's good, it's good. Um, when that car was in front of us, it detected it doing 34. Even now it's a 30 miles an hour limit here. <laughs> I, lo I love the fact that you can tell how fast the cars are going in front. Because if there was an accident, I could say, officer, my radar detected him doing it 34 miles an hour or whatever. So yeah, that's quite clever. And yeah, it also reads road signs as well. So it's now detecting that it's a 50 mile an hour speed limit. And it's accelerating to 50. That's cool. I never knew that. I had cruise control set at 30 and it's just accelerated to 42 then. That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Going around the bend, going around the bend. We deaccelerated for that bend. I didn't, the computer did it all by itself. Yeah, I'm gonna slow down a little bit. It's a little bit too fast for my liking. Obviously you can't be heavily reliant on it. Well, it's, it's detected another roundabout up ahead. Uh, six miles an hour it's saying for this. I'm just going to double check cruise control is on 30. I don't want to go too fast off the roundabout. So we're set at 30 miles an hour cruise control. It's detected this is a 6 miles an hour roundabout. So it's slowing down all for us, slowing down all for us. I'm not doing anything but steering right now. I'm only steering. There's a police officer there. I'm only, only steering. Not accelerating, not braking, nothing. And now we're accelerating again. 
That is mental. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <coughs> right, we're doing 29. I really need to get a camera set up on the window so you can see it in real time. I will, I will do that, don't you worry. When we, um, when we leave and we uh, go back on the road, I'll, I'll do it. But I love this, man. I absolutely love this. OK, 800 yards time, there is a roundabout. I would like to know if it, there is some sort of programme to say there is a roundabout there. It's got to be something, surely. The, the bloke who did the handover said it wasn't. It was. It reads it, is what he said, but I don't know, man. There's, there's got to be some software to say there's a roundabout there. I mean, it's got a sat-nav built in, so maybe it's reading off the sat-nav, I don't know. Like, we're slowing down now for some reason. Nothing is on the screen to say that we should be slowing down. Uh, OK, yeah, it's saying that we're in a 40 miles an hour, even though it's 50. Oh, no, it's saying there's a 40 mile an hour speed limit change in 60 yards. There we go. So it detected that speed limit change before I did. And now it's detecting this roundabout, so it's doing six miles an hour around here. Apparently. We're slowing down, we're slowing down. We're... I'm not touching my pedals. At all. I've not touched my pedals for the last three miles. And we're off. Accelerating again. That's so weird. So it's saying this roundabout is a nine miles an hour roundabout, so slightly faster. We don't actually go round a roundabout though, we, um, we come off on this slip road here. But it will still do that nine miles an hour around this bend. And we're going to have to stop by the looks of it. Yeah, we're going to have to deactivate the PCP because there's cars come in. And I can see in my bottom camera a wide angle. So I can see more than I think you could foresee on a normal mirror, which is really nice. Right, let's put the PCP back on. Six miles an hour for this roundabout. As long as that car's not turning right, it's not. The one behind it isn't either. So we haven't touched the brake once. That was quite slow around that roundabout, to be fair. But I haven't touched the brake pedal. I haven't touched the brakes or the accelerator. It's all engine braking. So it can, it can serve your brake pads and you're driving economically as well. Now, is it going to stop for this traffic up ahead? We're accelerating. Please stop. OK, it's slowing down by itself. <sighs> I was like a second away then from braking, pressing the brake pedal myself. Type R. <laughs> so it should now follow the traffic and stop with the traffic as well. So it's detecting the car in front is doing 22 miles an hour, 19, 17, my foot's on the brake pedal. OK, that's not me braking, that's him. The, the him is the truck braking all by itself. I've not touched anything. And we've come to a stop. We've come to a complete stop. <laughs> I've not done anything. No, no acceleration, no braking. But because it was more than two seconds, I got to now break. I think that's what it is. Uh, I got to accelerate, sorry. After, after two seconds of stopping, you then have to accelerate yourself. Oh, I love it. I love this truck so much. But you can't rely on that, because if you do rely on it and you do have a crash, as a driver, you're responsible. So, like back there, my foot was on the brake pedal, ready, ready to press. And I was so close to pressing it myself. And then the truck realised the car in front had stopped, so it slowed down by itself. Oh, man, this is like, it's the future of trucking. We're going to do one more roundabout. <laughs> and then I'm going to uh, get loaded, and then uh, I'll see you when we get loaded. But let's just go around this roundabout. Six miles an hour, 100 yards, 80 yards. 60 yards. 40 yards. As long as no cars are going right, we can come straight round. We're going, we're going, we're going, we're going. That lorry's gone in there, I think, when he's not supposed to. There's loads of signs saying no lorries. But yeah, again, no braking, no accelerating. The truck is doing it all by itself. PPC. 
I'll have to remember what PPC stands for. It's predictive power control, power chain, something like that. This is so cool, man. So cool. <laughs> right. We are loaded for Jutons in Godliming. I think that's how you say it. I think, anyway. Um, let me just show you real quickly that. There we go. I'll just show you inside the cab a little bit. Uh, so there's one of your mirrors. It's hard to see on the camera. It's a lot clearer in real life than what it is on the cameras. It's because of the sun in the background. But uh, even if I do that, I don't think it's gonna make much difference. It's much, much clearer in real life. You don't understand just how much more clearer. <laughs> one on the other side as well. And then you've got, also got these two cameras, um, these two displays here. You press the on button and uh, turn the ignition on. There we go. So there's one display. I've got low air actually, so I'm gonna start the engine. Build the air up before we go. And then you've also got another display over here. And this one basically has all your uh, features on that you're gonna access to like control the truck. So your lights, climate control and, all, and everything basically. So it's all on there, your phone and everything, media. Um, I've already got my navigation set up. So if I load the navigation up, uh, it is TomTom. -tom, so traditionally slow. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so it's pretty cool. We've got all the information on that one as well. Very good. So yeah, this is our route. That is where we are going. Godliming down there. Happy days. So that'll be running in the background. Of course, I can do anything else I want to do as well. So you know, if I want to listen to music, I can press that button there. Or you can just do it via the touchscreen. It's all... Uh, it's very easy to use, very easy. Let's just turn the climate control up a little bit. Because it's quite uh, quite warm in here now. Cool, right, so. Let's put you back on the mount. Okay. Let's go. I do miss quarry life, I must admit. Quarry life is good. <laughs> Roll up, get loaded, go deliver it, tip somewhere. Nice and easy. Oh dear. Yeah, so let's make our way to Godlaming. And uh, I've been there before. I normally worked out there at Southampton. And um, they weren't very fast, if I remember rightly. So I'm hoping Takes, I'm going to be there for about 20 past 10. Uh, mm, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be back before half 12. I'd like to be back by 1 o'clock at the latest. That's the plan. But um, let's make our way there anyway. And fingers crossed we can get back early enough. Okay, so I can get under a 4.2 metre bridge. <laughs> Alrighty then, we are just a mile away or so from our destination. We're um, just following this cyclist at the moment, giving him plenty of space uh, so he doesn't feel like, you know, like I'm really behind him, really far close behind him, that is. But at the same time, let me past! <laughs> He's not going to let me past, is he? He's going to dawdle up this hill. No, not gonna let me past. Bam, 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 ba, bam. A couple of times I've realized that <laughs> I lean on the steering wheel and um, the air horn goes off. Of course, I haven't got an air horn on my MAN. And if I did, it still would be by the steering wheel, like press the steering wheel. But on this one it is. I can't overtake him, I'm fully loaded and we're going up a hill still. Bam, 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 bam. Is it clear? No, it was not clear. That's why I didn't want to go. Might be able to go after this car passes. Yeah, foot down. 
And let's uh, overtake safely, giving them plenty of space. Excellente. Yeah, so we're delivering to uh, G Sins. I've been here before, but when I checked and uh, put in the postcode, um, I haven't actually been here for well over a year. In fact, it's like a year and a half since I was last here. So things might have changed. I remember last time there was a, a female forklifter driver and uh, I'm sorry if she watches, but she was very slow. <laughs> it has nothing to do with sex. It's just, she just didn't want to do the job. That's the impression I got anyway. Um, yeah, I remember turning up once and she went, she had, she said, oh, I'll be right back, I've got, got to go to the toilet. She didn't come back for like 10 minutes. And then when she did come back, she had to do other stuff, help customers out. Yeah, I was here for like two hours, two hours or so, I think, maybe, I don't know. Long time. But um, I spoke to uh, one of the guys who works with us and um, apparently there's um, there's two, two blokes on it at the moment and they're quite fast, so we'll see. We will see. We're just around the corner now, so. Hopefully we can get in. Oh, I also seem to remember I've been I've been here a few times, but not for a while, like I said. But one of the occasions, I'm pretty sure I had a puncture on one of my wheels, one of my tyres, I believe. This car's decided to come down the inside of me, even though I'm taking up both lanes. It's a bit narrow going around this bend, especially with a trailer. Not very clever of him, is it? And uh, yeah, going around some of this stuff around here as well, it's quite tight. Just make sure I don't hit him, excellent. Yeah, there's a reason why I took up both lanes then, and he just went around me and uh, got on my way, to be honest with you. <laughs> These lanes are, are very, very narrow. There's another car already looking to get into our outside lane. It's clear for me to go around, green light. There we go. Yeah, I'm not using any of the uh, PPC, which is, uh, is it stands for predictive power chain control. I'm not using that at the moment. I'm uh, just driving traditionally by myself. The reason I did it earlier is because I'm used to those roads and I've not been on these roads for a while, so I'd rather just uh, have complete control. That's what I would like anyway. Okay, that said warning. I think he thought I was gonna hit that car then on the left. The, uh, the instructor briefed me on that sign. Once it says warning, it's telling you to, to act. I think it thought I was going to crash into the car on the left. Obviously, I do not want to crash into a car. I forgot how tight this is. I can't just turn left, I've got to go straight on first. I'm going to be very slow on this roundabout, so let's let them go first. And hopefully we're all clear inside. No, not really. There's a van parked in the way. I might be able to get down, I might not. Put my beacons on. Yeah, I'm not going to get past that. My trailer's nowhere near past the gate. So we're going to have to wait here. And uh, hopefully whoever's van that is will move soon. I am, of course, blocking the entrance, but never mind. Not a lot I can really do right about that. Anyway, I'm not allowed to film in yards, am I? <laughs> uh, so the camera's going to have to go off and uh, see you in a bit. Right, we are just leaving that place now. Just around the corner, trying out a different camera angle as well. Um, yeah, not really a lot I can say to be fair. We're heading back to uh, Mortimer now. We need to go get loaded to go to Newbury. Um, I'm finding that every place I go to with this truck, everyone looks at it 
And if they don't notice straight away, then there it is in the end. They're like, there's something, there's something different to that truck. And then as soon as you say, there's no mirrors, they go, oh yeah. <laughs> it's really funny. But yeah, no, I've had, um, I've been letting people sit in the truck, like other drivers. Um, yeah, you, you've got to get in, you've got to get in a bit more than that, mate. You are actually on my side of the road. Oh, that is very tight. Cheers. Uh, yeah, I've been letting uh, other drivers sit into the cabs. They're like, you know, the merchant drivers who drive the, the high abs and stuff. I've let them sit in the cab. I've let them turn the ignition on. And they're like, wow. <laughs> um, it would be nice if I were to film one of them. But um, you've got to be careful who you film. But yeah, they press the button on, it all lights up, and the mirrors turn on, the multimedia display turns on, every, everything turns on, and they're just like, wow, it's like the future of trucking. And um, yeah, I can't, I can't deny that, I think that's true. <sighs> I love this truck. I actually really like this truck. It's a little bit dirty outside, um, where I've been delivering aggregates, and yesterday it was raining, and I feel like it needs to be clean. I just want it to be a clean truck because it looks so much nicer when it's clean. Yeah, I do. I love this truck, man. I love it. I'm going to have to um, try and get some sort of camera angle where you can actually see the um, the mirrors because I don't think it's picking up on the GoPro very well. It's hard to explain. In, in real life, when you look at them, they're bright, like as bright as outside. Um, but on the GoPro, they don't look very bright. I think that's so, so much to do with the type of screen because it's not like a, a reflective screen at all. There's no reflection on it. It's like a matte screen of some sort. It's like filming a laptop, but like, that isn't reflective. It's just dark on, on camera. It's the way it is. Um, but when I was at Truckfest, uh, using my SLR, I could lower the exposure and it made it a little bit, little bit better. So somehow, it won't be today because I've not got it on me, but somehow I'm gonna have to try and mount my camera somewhere, my SLR camera, and um, maybe on a seat and seat belt it on, I don't know, and have it aiming at the mirror over there, or over, I don't know, I'll do something, sort something out. And uh, hopefully you can see some really cool stuff. Anyway, build base Newbury, where we're going next. Um, normally, I don't like going there because it's a horrible reversing maneuver to get out. It's um, a sharp right followed by a sharp left. I've been there many times. I've got it on camera before. Um, yeah, sharp right, sharp left, something like that. It's basically an S-bend. And um, the last one is a complete blindside turn into live traffic. Now, obviously, there's a, there's a guy out there with a lollipop, he stops the traffic for you. But sometimes the traffic don't stop far enough away and, uh, and you genuinely can't see, so it is completely blind. Looking forward to doing it with this uh, Actros, really am. I'm, I'm genuinely looking forward to go there to test it out. I had a little practice uh, blindside reverse yesterday in our yard. Um, and it, yeah, I wouldn't say it was perfect, because I was still getting used to the mirrors and uh, perception is a little bit different, I must admit, because you're looking at a screen rather than something in real life. Um, but yeah, I, I stopped just in case I was going to hit something. There was another trailer there uh, and people were watching, <laughs> so I decided to just drive off. I needed to go anyway. So yeah, um, I've, done, I've done plenty of reversing so far, good side reversing. So build base is going to be my first real test of uh, blind side reversing in the Actros. So stay tuned. I'm probably gonna have a camera like on the windscreen here. Um, so you can see like most of the cab, I'm hoping. Whether you see the cameras or not is a different matter. We will see, we will see. Right, see you in a bit. Right, we are loaded for our final delivery of today. The time is dead on one o'clock. Uh, and yeah, we got back just before half past. Uh, just before half past 12. So we got back in good time. Got loaded in good time, and uh, yeah, we're now uh, we're now heading to build base Newbury. The ETA there is 20 to 2. There is a little bit of traffic. Um, looks like it's on the road um, just before you get there, so we've got to take a left on the road. It's that road where there's uh, seems to be a lot of traffic, so we'll have to uh, assess the situation when we get there. I think there's probably going to be some roadworks there or something, so it might actually be a bit annoying. We might not be able to get in very well and uh, certainly struggle to get out if it's quite busy. But we'll, um, we'll have to wait and see, see and cross that bridge when we get there. But uh, yeah, I, I am looking forward to uh, doing the reversing later, the blindside reverse. 
and see how it's going to go. Hopefully it goes all right. We'll have to see. Now, I've just recorded a, um, a cab tour, if you like. Um, whether that comes out before or after this video you're watching now, I do not know. It's just a very quick video just showing uh, some of the stuff that's in the cab. Like all the cubby holes and stuff, so that, that hopefully will be coming out soon. Sooner rather than later, anyway. Right, let's make a right hand turn here. We're not actually allowed to turn left. I've heard many drivers have turned left and uh, then got banned. <laughs> That's just, it's really cool seeing the camera turn. Your trailer starts to go out of view and then all of a sudden you see your camera just go whoop, and move out of the way a little bit so we can actually see it. It's cool. You never ever lose track of the end of your trailer. Well, I haven't yet anyway. I wonder if you can still see it even if you jackknife. Might have to test that. <laughs> right, anyway, let's, uh, let's crack onto the Newbury. Right, so we're just getting ready for the reversing manoeuvre now at our build base. Um, this is going to be new. Just waiting for a thumbs up or something to say we can go. Have a look. See you later, buddy. Thank you. Right, so we're doing our reversing maneuver now outside of the yard. It's actually quite weird, to be honest with you, because everything's like distorted. I'm not sure I like it. I don't know. I think it takes getting used to, but I like, I don't know, I just, I don't, I don't feel like I'm going straight, if that makes sense. I'm like over, over correcting all the time. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. So they're getting close now to that build base truck. I've just had a Mercedes man uh, call me back. The guy who actually uh, taught me um, on like how to use it and stuff. He actually just phoned me. <laughs> I was like, yeah, do you mind if you uh, call me back in a minute, mate? I'm just about to do a reverse maneuver out of a yard. <laughs> yeah, I just can't get straight. I don't feel like I'm going straight at all. Weird. I think once you get used to it, it'd be okay. Well, when, when I think I'm going straight, I'm not. I'm getting. <laughs> it's just weird. Feels like I'm getting close to stuff. It's going to be interesting what we're about to do anyway. Okay, this is like the most reversal I've done in this so far, so. It's just a case of getting used to it. Once you're used to it, it'd be okay. 
we need to start turning now. And then like, there gets to a moment when you switch from using your top mirror, then you use your bottom mirror. Right, just like to mount the curb a little bit, so that I can get the angle to get out. Right, this is now the blind side. That's cool. I can, right now I'd be blind normally. And there's a car right there as well. So I can see the car. That'd do. You'll have to get me out. Thank you very much. Right. right, so I think a bit more practice will be needed before I get like 100% confident with that. But uh, at, at the point of like no return, what I wouldn't normally be able to see, I could see. So that's good. I like that. Right. <laughs> We're heading back to um, South Sydney now to get loaded for the morning. So happy days. Right, I've got to go give this uh, Mercedes guy a call back now. See you in a bit. Okay, and uh, that's just done now. Uh, we just got loaded for uh, our run for tomorrow. And uh, we need to get on out of here now. We're going to go home. Just going to wait for this uh, person to uh, finish loading. And then I've got to take my horn. Uh -huh. That just lets them know that I am moving. Now, just got to put the seatbelt on because get uh, an annoying tone otherwise. And uh, yeah, so I've just recorded some POV uh, using the hat on the GoPro, which is actually what you're on now, which is why, again, you're at a different angle. Um, but I am going to record some more POV. Uh, leaving this place so look out for that video as well I'm uh, trying to make as many different videos as I can um, driving this truck so then there's plenty for people to see but I'm also going to do continue doing my normal everyday vlogs as well like this um, so yeah hopefully you've enjoyed this video it's a new truck I'm really enjoying it um, real quickly the phone call I had earlier from uh, Mercedes was telling me that my driving is doing all right um, I, I was, I'm scoring 9 out of 10 on most things, well, on everything bar one, which is the anticipation. I need to uh, anticipate a bit more, and he said, use your engine brake a bit more. So that's what I'm trying to do now, use my engine brake. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, anyway, I've got to go and um, grab some paperwork, and uh, when I do uh, come back, I'll be recording a POV. So thanks for watching. Ooh, thanks for watching, and until next time, drive safe. See you soon. Bye-bye.